have the man who laddies. My name is Ryan Wilkinson, and welcome to my channel, Treats and Double Six, for Treats and Double Six Love, Treats and Double Six Ways of Life. Anyways, yesterday I basically done my uh, music TV selection. I think there may have been like, I don't know, I think there was like 15 in total, and like maybe I lost one or gave one away, or like, I don't know that I never got back, and then I think there was like, maybe like 13 or 14 to be card. At the end of this, the uh, video, you can check out there, and also it's just recommend all DVDs, basic music DVDs. And if you're into like fine you can check out my final collection. Anyways, let's get started with this here. Basically, box sets, right? So, TV series, so technically that's not a box set, right? Because it has this like, case, but the likes of this here have been a box set, even if it's just like a single DVD, it's still included in this sort of collection. <clears throat> There's a mixture between like uh, cartoons and like kitty things, and um, what's it going to say as well? Like, Dramas, sitcoms, and cartoons. A uh, bit of a really kiddish one about that. They're kind of cracking. It's like a fiber or something. Like one day, three discs with uh, 20 episodes. I remember I used to watch a lot of those kids go down the X version, Madwell Store. It doesn't exist anymore in the UK. And we decided to go over like, and get VHS every week with a pan you can keep for a week. But then again, you're going to watch it that day. But then again, kids can watch the same thing literally every day in life over and over again. Just repeat. This here, I think, has. Yeah, all the discs are basically on top of each other like that. This is a pan and pan album, by the way. I was uh, went in the stairs one day, uh, I think it was about 15 or something, I don't know. Um, but I don't know if it was like 4 in the morning or like 6 in the morning or whatever. And basically, it was like, oh, here's Spider Man's on, and I put this, put it on TV, and I was like, what is this, like 1960s? <sighs> like, not the 1980s. Uh, I think this might be higher at the back next to Green Goblin. You can see like there, the animation isn't too bad, uh, and there's Doc Ock on the front. The way it basically says like, uh, 24 hours from season 1 to 2, for a moment to 2. Each episode only lasts for like 10 minutes, you see rather than like, like 25 minutes. Yeah, some of the best cartoons ever, if you haven't like, heard of Hannibal Burr, you've been living already for a rock. Yeah, honestly some of my favorite cartoons ever. The Wacky Rich is going collection. Uh, I think I've had a Penelope Pit Stop collection as well. There's like 34 episodes and it's on like three, I think. <clears throat> or basically, you know, I've seen them like in the cover as well, the uh, cardboard. Even you go to Cash and Fitters and get those, are impossible to take off stickers. It's like rings and everything. So when you see it got there, it's like, it's fine. I think it's going to cost me a ton or less. And you know, it's basically like volume one, two, and three, so you can see like over there. We see all that food. Wacky Races, Flintstones, Jets, and Terrorbon, Scooter. When we're recording, we might get a lot of more DVD at some point. I'll show this in here actually first. Pretty shattered. <clears throat> Hong Kong Fooey, number one support guy. Uh, 16 episodes again, I think they're like 10 out long episodes basically. I have all over that way. Um, a little bit closer. This cap I think is called Spot, but he actually has stripes. Love this show pretty good. I think it's a seven meters on. I'm not saying those cartoons have been going for like years or even around now as kids and I think even my grandparents were kids. Uh, I got any stuff yawning. <clears throat> the real Ghostbusters, I think that's the 80s one and the 90s one is called Extreme Ghostbusters. That's not a Ghostbusters one, they're all like two films. Well, apart from the new one, which I might check out, like it looks kind of all right. I'll watch it maybe somewhere anyway. Um, I want to say there. I answered it was about the uh, Ghostbusters team as Man in Black. Well, my back has three films. We like to this here, like Ghostbusters, like, uh, and Man in Black with like kind of cartoons. And I'm not sure Man in Black had comics, but it's, it's good the way that they do like comics and stuff. They only ever have a couple of films ever. <sighs> I'm trying not to yawn, but it's impossible. We're very on the X Men 26 episodes, it's just these four discs. It says CB, CBBC, so I'm not too sure like, who owned it, like whenever it like, was world, or whatever, worldwide, uh, E1. Uh, there was like X-Men, and then there was X-Men Evolution, and then we're going to the X-Men. So I think X-Men Evolution is maybe early 2000, this is kind of around right about, I think it's said 2007 on this, and 2009 was when the DVD came out. The series may have come out in 2009, but I think it might have been before that. I don't really remember. Uh, I like the old classic stuff like uh, 
you see if you're on the front cover, these are about a pound and a half pound each. Uh, so they were so you have like Wolverine, Beast, Storm and Cyclops. Season one, volume one. I might just buy the full collection at some point and probably just give these away. I'll see about volumes though, they're just kind of useless, I think. Just release as a box set. And they make life not much easier. <clears throat> so there's up there season one, volume one. Season one, volume two, you have Gamma Bishop. Wolverine, and I think that's Archie and all characters called them, I'm not entirely sure. That character, they're mega red. The only time I ever actually heard of him was, uh, again, red, by the way, uh, the only time I ever actually heard of him, I don't think I've well, probably seen him in the Horgan Pi, a minor character, was on the likes of uh, Mortal Kombat's Capcom 2, if you're thinking, by the way. Uh, I think that's Colossus in the background there, that's season 1, volume 1, season 1, volume 2. I don't know who that guy uh, is, with Wolverine and Cyclops. There's no X Men cartoon in the 90s, pretty good luck. I think yours is bought in the works. I don't know if it's complete. Season 1 part 1, season 1 part 2, and season 2 complete. <clears throat> I understand why the other parts. It's probably just to make more money. This is bought out of the works, which is basically a bookshop. I think they'll do DVDs, but you're getting me one of those like, bookshops and all those like, DVDs that do like, war and like, all those things that do like, Titanic around with like, ships and planes. And actually, like, 100 years old, or maybe more than 100 years old, if I wouldn't want to buy that stuff. But the incredible Hulk cartoon, I'm watching that. I think She Hulk comes in. I'm going to go back and watch these cartoons at some point. Back. Um, I was going to include this all the Family Guy stuff, but I'm going to sit I think I've watched every episode to this day. But I'm going to go back and watch them probably for like the third time. This is the only box that I have, but you can buy like a series of one to like seven. They change the names the volumes so to confuse the hell out of you. Uh, I'm back for about a tenner. I'd say my box sets are getting cheap as hell now, so I'm probably going to do like a video on like box sets where I get them from, like the prices of them. Just compare prices to like eBay prices or whatever. It's like an eBay band guy and just got like on different stuff. Like I like, go on eBay and just have like a browse and show you like stuff that I buy and prices and stuff. So I'll like something upcoming in the future. Season 1, uh, 3 discs. I don't really know how many episodes on this product to me. Actually, I'm going to go for be 15. <clears throat> I'd say back in the day, probably would have cost you like, let's say 20 quid for a box set. Two times five is 10 on the foot. I don't understand when you buy box sets second hand. Like, I don't know if it's the people in the store like, beat them up or like the people actually own them beat them up. This actually, I thought this was a fiber, it was actually four pound. Watch that ramp through the Big Bang Theory this day. It's kind of funny, uh, in the first episode, I think, like, whenever, uh, Record Penny asked like Sheldon and her five was their day today. And it's like Sheldon comes up and says, Oh, we went and sold sperm or something. Wouldn't need your luck. Um, yeah, find that there. there. I'm trying to like find what well, I was putting stuff in the pile. I was like, I was going for like different pile and whatnot. Uh, and that's like four game pile on. I think there only was really a couple of series of that anyway. Uh, it's got, let's see, uh, I don't want to be charter. Maybe there only was two series. I don't know. Uh, so the thing, the thing thing this is pretty cool, it has like super scroll on it, uh, I can't even think, any Fantastic Four characters, I like to read some of the comics, I sit down and said back comics, there was like way too many, and then like, they were like out before I was even born, so like they're expensive to buy, there's Invisible Woman, so the Invisible you can see right there, here's thing for you, Fantastic Four as well, Fantastic Four, I'm not too sure what it was called, they changed the name to it at one point, that's season 2, volume 1, Season 2 part of the Human Torch and the uh, Mr. Fantastic. The kids were actually lighting themselves on fire, so they actually took them away from the torch and brought them back again. I actually thought, when well, someone told me that, I thought they were probably popped, I can't believe them at the same time, so they wanted to seem like naive. It's actually true, like, pretty daft. Uh, who should like the, I don't know if it's ever heard outside the UK, Out of Marion. He has all these are aliases. Uh, I think his real name is actually Lee Francis, but I'm not entirely sure. Puts on like these like rubber masks and like it's a sketch show. So basically, you have like, Michael Jackson, Mel B, Kelly Osbourne, Craig David, Morton Manson, Ricky Gervais. It's kind of like hit and miss the show. Like at times I like it, at times it's probably terrible. I uh, bought this out of a charity shop, since both like the, I actually owned this like years ago. I think it cost me a fiver to get down fee, I'm not entirely sure. But honestly, it's a good show. I like, I watched it again, so I like Borat. 
I like all these years, like for annoying for things. Terrible, to be honest. This show here isn't enough great to be honest, I mean, a lot of people really like it, but I think it's alright. Like, uh, as you can see, Adrian Edmondson there, and Rick Mail there, uh, Rick Mail's not good, and Drop Dead Fred. I think uh, if you want to watch a good show, MTN, watch Bottom instead. This was in the 80s, and then Bottom came out back in the 90s. I think these guys don't really know, uh, know them for much, just like Drop Dead Fred, obviously, Rick Mail's in it. Adrian Edmondson, don't know if he's in it, could up here as a comedy or something, you probably didn't know he was in it. Uh, drop their friend bottom. Guess this party, so that's basically all I remember. I can't remember the condition of these here, but the cash parts as well. Like the I don't know how stickers you want to get off. King of the Hill is quite a few series. I can't remember much about this show. All those members like God oh, dang it, Bobby. And then the intro to it. Just to watch it all in Sky One. Now. I like how whenever you get the DVDs, you know, when you get them second hand, you get this here. I just like all the inserts. I hate whenever you buy stuff second on like you look new inserts. Alright, if you have like a slip case, you'll get the slip case on. Yeah. Yeah, there's no slip case for that. Uh open that out. Oh, there's that there what's that one? It's first series. Over four hours of whole hour on three discs. Four hours is pretty damn short like here in the sitcom you've got eight hours. Four hundred and seventy four minutes, that's why about six hours in a way. Never seen so you know, four six hours. Uh, that's the second series. I didn't see it. I on the screen. So I'm not too sure if you like a slip case about there. Uh, let me show you that. I don't know if this is all the series I have, but uh, I recommend watching that there show at some point if you haven't watched that 70s show. Uh, that 70s show uh, has uh, Ashton Kutcher, Miller, or Mila Kunis, or whatever you call her, who does Meg Griffin. Uh, that is Danny Masterson, let me see. Hi, right, Danny Masterson. For those of you who don't know, if you ever watch Model in the Middle, it's his brother in real life. Uh, Nora Prepom, uh, your woman, like there, uh, in Orange is the New Black, and Mila Kunis there, uh, Topher Grace, uh, Will the Father Ram, Bulmer, Father Ram, because how you pronounce his name. There's Danny Masterson there, and that's the picture there. So basically, uh, first series. Second and the third. What is it again? It's not for a counter. It means it doesn't exist in the UK anymore, I don't think. Uh, I think the only way you can get GameStop and stick it online is like UK or maybe it's just Ireland. Just need to pick up easier cards. I watched this year's show like years ago. Uh, the first year's in Spanish Stars. I don't understand it. It's all like two discs. I don't understand why they do multiple like. You know, discs for like TV shows, uh, they only have like a couple of episodes on like a series, which is pretty daft. Um, Ross Kemp, I've got Ross Kemp in Afghanistan, I have like a show that's where I'm not going to grab it. We might get more of his stuff like on gangs, Afghanistan, Pirates, and maybe, maybe a couple of books. Uh, if you're from the UK, you might have heard of Show Ultimate Force, but the SAS. It's an alright show, like to be honest, I thought it was kind of good when I first watched it. It's not very interesting, like, hmm. I think it's more like your mums or dads will probably enjoy it more. It's an okay show, like, it's not special. Because uh, there's not that much episodes here, there's not really much to it. But that made it like, way more action packed and more stuff happening. It seems like it's a bit too much of a drama in a way. I actually bought that, even though I don't have the first series. The only reason I bought it was because, like, I love Flintstones. It's been found the first series, and so, like, yeah, I'm banned this year. Yeah. Pretty good conditioning, it's 32 episodes, 13 hours, 4 discs. Yeah, yeah, I love the Flintstones now, it's just like so gradual name of the other, like laughing and just like all the comedy and stuff. And on the spine there, it basically says what's on like each disc. I don't be able to see it that well, there's basically the back cover and the front cover again. Love the Flintstones, like stuff like that's just pure classic. Thundercats, so I was actually born in 89, this show like, started in like 85, you know, for like 5 years. Uh, it's only season 1, part 1, which is a bit crap. Watch the bedroom, seem like the same thing every episode, episode but I'm going to like, watch it from the start again. I like the symbol, it's pretty clear. A lot of people from the 80s are like other Transformers, He Man, She Ra, and whatnot. Watch the bed as years ago, I haven't ever seen it. I want to see how much I keep paid for it again. I probably didn't pay for it, I think I'm paying my pet point good. No, I did pay for it. I'm not trying to pay for it for this, so I want to see it. I've seen it in Tesco's and Tesco's one day, I was like, oh, I might as well just buy this here, like this. Something like to watch, I'm like probably watched it all because like came out like the early 90s and I was like, like five years old, I'm really. Uh, probably younger than five minutes or something like that. I should cover on. 
I really recommend watching it though. Maybe him Valley, some people might like it, some people don't. Or you have uh, Martin Clunes, Neil Morrissey, uh, him there with the long hair, Beatty Kid, Bob the Builder. Her there, uh, I won't be able to that well. Leslie Ash, seeing that their show, she's absolutely freaking hot. You know, she was like, nah, no, like, she got plastic surgery. It's just like, yeah, I'm famous. Uh, I think I got plastic surgery. I don't think I've taken anything wrong with it. I got plastic surgery and she looks terrible. Uh, if you don't know who she is, like, I don't think that's so even part of it. Outside of the UK, just go on the Google, type in Leslie Ash. It's basically, focus, L E S uh, L I E, I think it is Ash. Oh, it's better. The focus on is an on, like it's got like focusing on my face and like autofocus. I ain't trying to change on the settings on that yet. Uh, but I, uh, she was pretty hot looking, like it. She's got plastic surgery and then she's got plastic surgery in. I mean, as I say, two wrongs don't make a right. You don't get plastic surgery and mess up, you know. Go and get plastic surgery fixed again. You're pretty much just screwed, like for life. Only reason I bought this because it was cheap as hell on um, something more to watch. 75p this cost me. Good conditions, well. Alias with Jennifer Garner. I think it's about like CIA. If you've ever watched the, uh, I've seen it in something else as well, I think. But if you've ever watched The Flash, uh, him there, I can't remember his actual name, he appears as Firestorm. So it's basically Series 1, uh, Series 2. That's the thing though, getting box sets used to cost like about 20 quid, you can click next to nothing. Well, 20, 30, 40 quid. Now you can get them like next to nothing. No one got there is the sticker there, and then those stickers are you take off, see my freaking head. From the Creators of Lost as well, Series 4. Series 5, the boxes are pretty nice looking as well. This is part of like the freaking sweet party pack, or maybe just have a freaking party pack. Series 1 to 5, this was like from a catalog, guys, and I don't give this to me. But messed up as if we can if I tilt it up like there, you can see it at their corner there. And then see at the front that they're the back brand. Uh, you flick through, it's just like all the discs. I can't flick through it though. It's in bad condition, but the discs are perfectly fine. Gotta give me for free. And it bought series of six to ten, so there's five series basically for um what's that price? Uh a tenner, I think it was, like in Tesla pieces ago. Uh, I don't know if you prefer Family Guy or Mario Guy, I prefer to Mario and Dad and then went back to Family Guy, but I think I might prefer Family Guy more than that, sort of Series 6, Series 7, I'm pretty sure a lot of people pretty much have Family Guy box sets like Series 8, Series 9, Series 10, the first episode out there, but the third image is actually taken from, it's a good episode. Or they go in their house and then everyone starts getting killed. Series 11. Includes extended episodes for TV. I don't know what to read up. Um, season 12. That's the thing, whenever you see stuff like that, they're extended episodes, extended movies. It's like, whenever you watch them on TV or watch them on the cinema, and then you see, like, if it is extended, like, you probably have to watch, like, videos on YouTube to actually know what parts are extended, like, because. Why do they extend the end or like does it just extend like some scenes? I have no idea. Haven't looked into it. <clears throat> Could at some point though. Idris Elba, what's the bit out there? Not too bad. Like one more thing, like you said, it's got four boot. Uh, if you don't know who he is, he appears in a dark horror film, British actor. I think he's from London, I'm not entirely sure. Basically, John Luper is here when like, it's, it kills someone right in the first episode and then. Like, I know she's guilty, but they have enough ev they have enough evidence evidence, but then to end the releaser, but then in real life like people are like stoners like stop from like smoking weed or something like that there and then it's like, Oh we have so much evidence, we're gonna like put you in jail and then it's like people like get away with murders like that. Uh series one. I actually bought these for like I think a fiver, maybe less or more for like uh them. But online I've seen like series one to twelve for like 12 or 15 pounds, no, series 1 to 8 actually. Don't know if I'll go for like 19, 11, 12, maybe just for the sake of it. After Austin, well, after Charlie Shane, the Austin Kutcher came in, two and a half men. I remember watching this because one channel found it, but it was okay at the start, took me right into it. So there's 8, uh, no, series 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I might get these away at some point to someone because in the day I can just go and buy 1 to 12, but like. 
not saying typically you're buying box sets if they like, go for prices, right? So it's gonna be you know, like Yale Vitex Roses, one, two, three, four, like 10 or 12 minutes, however many, like whatever TV show basically is. And then like, it was like, yeah, but what I would do is I would just like see if you can get like a complete first. If you can get a complete cheaper, or also if you can get it all separately cheaper. Go for that. <coughs> Yeah, actually do that out here first of all, but then when he has four series, I think I got console, I'm not sure why I do a range from. Decent show though. Uh I think I played a fire and beach for these ones, aren't sure. Season one of my name is Earth, good show. Uh series two of my name is Earth, I think it's called that right Uh only bought this because I got it for a pound, show up in the previous video, as well as a pickup. Uh he's from London. I don't know how many episodes are on this year, maybe like probably like six. Nothing telling me about the runtime on this, just this video audio with subtitles, and that's basically it. Yeah. But he's from uh, London, I think, a magician called Dynamo, uh, Magician Impossible, Legend V Series 2. I think he made on like Magician Impossible, like four series. He's been on it before after that, like in terms of like videos. Yeah, they should have their power, two more powers. Yeah, currently watching Small Hold them out, I'm not sure of them all off. I think they're like, I think nobody can find them somewhere. Uh, Small Hall Series 1. It's weird. First series is so much more different. Like, because, like, as they basically call it, Meteor Freak of the Week. It just like, stopped that. They didn't really call it Meteor Freaks until, like, the third series, or maybe even the fifth or something. Basically, Meteor, as in Kryptonite, uh, basically, just like people have been found on Earth, like humans, and then, like, Clark's just about to stop in every episode. And they just like change it. So whenever you watch it, the second or third series, and like even onwards, it's just like a different show. It's just it's weird. Like you have to watch it yourself. Series three and series four. Um, Lost the comic first series. Watched this all years ago. Um, my first time watching it, and then I loved it after probably got into it because people on my class and tech were talking about it all the time. Um. I bought it out of cash, and I was like a fire, but I was like, yeah, I'm going to definitely watch this, and then I've actually had it for like literally more than five years, I just got like really excited about, you know, fun to watch it, and then so like, whenever I bought it, I just haven't watched it, so, well, that all, I'll watch it again, like, it's probably because like, you know what else is going to happen and stuff, it's just not as enjoyable, so like, I know what's going to happen, like, even though, like, from like, episode one, well, let's say episode two, to like the one before the last, I ring in between, it's like, why do you remember that at all, but then it's like, the first episode, you know what's going to happen, and the last episode, you know what's going to happen. If that makes sense. The Unit Series 1. Robert Patrick's in that there. He's a Terminator. Uh, that guy there, I think I recognize him. Him there, I think I recognize him from somewhere. I can't even put my finger on it. I don't know what it's about. Uh, I think it's, it's about like a rack or something. I watched a bit of it before, the couple episodes. Just couldn't get into it. I can't remember like, what it is, like, what kind of like, army or whatever it is, like special force, forces or whatever heck they are. Uh, I actually thought I had four series of these, but I must only have three. Will and Grace, a pretty decent show, got these cheap as hell. First series one, series two, series three. I think I might actually end up just giving these away because I think it is one on the eBay. And it's good to go into like wherever you buy your reviews from, let's say CX and all the eBay and our prices. But sometimes if you go into like a shop and you say, oh, I'm going to buy them or then. I'll buy them all on eBay at some more point or go online and see them in the store's website. Next thing you go online the store's website to do them like as a box set bundle at like cheaper than buying them separate because you'll leave it and get them the cheaper separate or as a bundle. Let's get the shop around. This is massive, this cost me 14, no 15 quid I think. That's included on post which is like 150. 49 discs, 190 episodes, and 35 hours. I don't know how many months it'll take me to watch this, maybe two months. Uh, this collection contains all eight seasons, the picture around 24 Redemption, plus special features. Redemption is actually set up in one of the series, this is what it is, so it's basically like the front. And then, as you can see there, I'm not going to open it up by the way, I think, like, actually no, there's a button up just to show you. It's basically just like, friggin' two boxes, well, that there is right in the middle, 24 Redemption. It is, doesn't tell you how long it's on for. 24 season 6, season 7. Uh, it's probably sent around the time of season 5 and season 7. So, before season 8, anyway. So, series 1 to 4, and 
color will be like 5 to 8. <clears throat> so, I think it's my broke there, so, yeah, it doesn't tell you that, so it just says like, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, so like, that there, and then I can show you, that's basically all of this, so it opens up like that, and you have to leave it, kind of just sort of like on. Well, I'm going to do it with fan DVDs, box sets, like, but after I watched Small, I've got Alias, I've got four phones, but then, after I watched Small, I've got Alias, I've got 24, OMG, that just about freaking fits in. I think it's in After I watched Small, I've got Alias to watch, I've got 24 to watch, and I've got something else to watch, I can't remember, that might be it actually. So after I do that there, and I'll just buy like more DVDs, I'll probably just buy like one, like, Box set entire series a month, or else just buy it's like half of one series, something just like the watch and you know, bad and watch it as you go on. Scrubs, I recommend this to anyone that likes sitcoms. Uh, I've watched it all before until like the eighth series, and it's got like crap. Whenever I watch it again, I don't know, maybe I'll go back at some point or series two. Uh, I'll maybe go back at some point and like, I don't know, buy them. I'm not gonna buy every single one because some people still all of them all the half and then I'll go watch them. It's like JD left, and most of the characters left, and they got crap. Series 3, no one catching her sticker again. Series 4, Series 5, Series 6. So that's 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's see, hopefully. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, sometimes I do that. There are guys that are double check because sometimes they're like missing a series or like I don't feel like in the wrong order because like uh scrubs though means I'll probably need to buy about two more series which is scrubs it got really bad like later on in the show I think here's five my mouse here but yeah um that is the end of the video there'll be a cards on the screen now so you can check out like uh my music DVD collection which is only like I said with 13 DVDs and there's like my record collection which I think I have 50 records so if you're into like Rock and metal, you can check out all three of those are videos. Hope you enjoy this video, and as always, thank you for watching. I'll be doing like more DVD pickups, and I'll put this in like some sort of playlist there, uh, like DVDs and whatnot, and like books and stuff. Be sure to check it out, and as always, thank you for watching. Arriba Dirty.